Dino Correra, I'm Gerard Block, and I'm Ifaz Vinjani, and I am David Vijay Ratne, <laughs> and we are ready. We have a small message to all our fellow Sri Lankans. Yes, yes. Right? I mean, we as a country, mm. we have so much to offer so, the rest of the world. I mean, that is so true, Ifaz. You see, I think sometimes the rest of the world doesn't really appreciate what we do. You see, where I come from, a remote village on the coast of Nigambo, we send boats full of ill. You know, brand new systems to Italy and Australia. Are those countries grateful? Nah, Adubatar me aurudhar postcard dekat patte banod. Completely not what this video is all about. Yeah. Somebody needs to tell Damien that there's something called a script for a bloody reason. Uh, uh, can you stick to the script, please? There's a script. Yes. There was a script. Remember, Feroz gave it to us at the Freddy cast party. <laughs> there was a cast party. Actually, we have had three cast parties. But for some reason, Dhamita never comes. Yes, there was a cast party. We organized it on the Freddy WhatsApp group. Do I have a WhatsApp group? Yes! Yeah. But only for those with smartphones, not Dhamita. I mean, fucking cast party, you had a fucking rotten time. It was awesome. Yeah, those players. Yeah. Oh, I got paid! Yeah. 50,000 bucks each. Mm-hmm. 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 As you can as you can see, uh, Daminder is clearly upset. <laughs> He's crying inside. <laughs> I'm crying outside also. I get paid less than you. I don't get invited to your fancy cast parties, and I'm not even a part of the WhatsApp group. Unai me asa da na ni kabi na ki hindi no ne puno hai. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, bidi na ta ki liko. Mai ki na ho. Daminder, brother, bro, friend, gima gima hai, brother. Now we are from Colombo. You are not. But it's not like we don't think that you are equal to us, brother. <laughs> Fuck no. He should be grateful he's in the cast. <laughs> yes, that's true. Thanks, much. Well, then, can we start this again? Hmm? Someone will actually shut up. We could get this thing finished. Guys, Daminda doesn't enjoy the same rights and benefits as the rest of the Freddy cast. This makes him very unhappy, no? That's a real overdue thing to say, no? Yeah. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> we have a message for our fellow Sri Lankans. We live in a country that has so much to offer to the rest of the world, and we truly believe it's time we offer over 52% of this nation's population something they truly deserve. Laptops. Equal rights. And laptops. In Sri Lanka, women can do just about anything. They can drive trucks. Get on a boat. Fly a plane. Sit in a boat. Perform brain surgery. Steer a boat. Steer a company. Actually do anything in a boat. But think about it. When given the choice to elect, choosing between the first female president and an inhuman, abhorrent human being, America chose Donald Trump. Mm. But we are Sri Lankan. We are different. Uh, almost 50 years ago, we proudly elected the modern world's first female head of government. Since then, we've had a female president, a female chief justice, a female attorney general, and a female solicitor general. And the department that looks after all the alcohol-related activities in Sri Lanka, the exercise department, is currently headed by a woman. But it's not exercise, I mean, the, it's excise. Yeah. Just because Dina works at an English radio station, he thinks he can teach me English. May assist. I don't know, Nino, you're just Now, in Sri Lanka, a lot of people drink in the Kasipu. A lot of people make in the Kasipu. And when the Kasipu is being made, 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 then the exercise department people come to catch. And then everyone in Kasipu is having a poor policy. I don't know, the minister is like, I don't know, the Kasipu is wrong. And then the police are like, I don't know, 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 I don't
exercise department. That's a, that's a common mistake people make. It's not exercise department, it's excise department. It's a unit of the finance ministry that's responsible for the taxation of products and goods made here in Sri Lanka. That includes alcohol, production, as well as distribution and supply. Oh. Even if I work at a Chinese radio station, I can still teach him a thing or two. The exercise department is however the one run by Osmo Fitness, <laughs> who clearly want to ensure that we don't have certain shapes of women in our society. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with this shape, man? Huh? I have a friend who's literally shaped like a fucking barrel and people pay good money to watch him at the vent. <laughs> Here's the ad that got everyone right up. Yeah. Now guys, this ad is fucking offensive. Hmm? And when you copy an ad, at least have the fucking brains to figure out as to what happened when the original ad went out. Hmm? There was a shit storm then. Boss. Yeah. They put a pair and got into shit. How do you copy the same thing and not get into the same shit as the original? I know, but I just replace it. With? With a fucking man. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Do you find fucking that of it's all at all? Then fucking replace it. My fact. This isn't good marketing. Any publicity is not good publicity, unlike those days. But you know, looking at this, I mean, I don't think it's an offensive invitation for women to join the gym. Maybe it's a, it's got a subtle warning of some sort. A warning? Like what? I mean, remember Damien said, you know, about the consumption of uh, Kasipu, right? Kasipu. So, Pro Sri Lankans approximately consume 200 million litres of Kasipu every year. And 90% of it is made in... The jungle. Wait for it. Barrels. <laughs> Barrels. In the jungle. So maybe, this is a warning for women do not get involved in the casino industry. Maybe a subtle warning because you know because if they get caught and if you get caught and you will definitely get caught because women can't run as fast as those exercise officers. Mm, I mean, it's police, right? Police, courts, jail time, and all of that. Maybe why they saying this is not a shame for women is because women should not be involved in the casino industry. So it's a it's a public service warning or announcement. It's pretty. Or we can go with our initial idea that whoever made this fucking ad are sexist pricks. I guess we can all agree that anyone who thinks that women should not have the same rights and opportunities as men are by default sexist pricks. Shit. I should have never used the phrase sexist prick. It's an open invitation to be humbled. So if you are a sexist prick, stand up. Hmm? And you take a good look at yourself in front of the mirror. Get naked. And then take a good look at your teeny tiny dick. And think, how small is my dick that I need to deprive a woman of her rights? And there we go. We could have done this without a penis reference. Thanks, Yehan. Thank you. So all is. Now we know that some men find it difficult to stand naked in front of a mirror. So we have designed a simple set of questions to determine, indeed, if you are a sexist prick. Is it okay for a woman to get paid less than you? You, you think her brain is smaller because she has two boobs? Oops. If you are a guest of measuring your dick, we are pleased to confirm that you're a sexist prick. You're a sexist prick. And to all our politicians who are definitely not sexist pricks, here's a small message. And in 2020, when the nation goes to the polls, don't piss off women, they've got the largest vote. And as usual, Gehan Block must have the last word. The last word to Gehan Block is like oxygen to the rest of us. If he doesn't get it regularly, he could die. <laughs> Thank you, brother. That's so fucking true. Giving equal rights to women doesn't make us lesser men. It doesn't disgrace us or demean us. 
Darkness has men, we found plenty of ways to disgrace and demean ourselves, neither. <laughs> Giving equal opportunities for all members of our society enriches us all, it empowers us all, and makes us better as a whole. So no matter who's in your life, Sonali, Sandra, Sashikala, or Siddhi, it's time for us to recognize that they deserve the same rights and opportunities. It's time for our mothers, daughters, and sisters to be treated as equals. Equal, equal rights, rights right, right now, now. peace. peace.